the cities occupy only 3% of our earth but consume 60 to 80% of energy consumption and at least 70% of carbon emissions. Currently, cities are home to half of the population of today's world. But as the global population is increasing continuously, more than two-thirds of the world's population is projected to live in urban areas by 2050. So the need for sustainable development has become more crucial and cities have to manage the escalating demand for resources and reduce the environmental impact. In fact, some cities have already made remarkable efforts in becoming more sustainable and have set examples for others to follow. While rest of the cities have to integrate steps to provide sustainable lives, that is also the topic of today's video, so let's explore it. As the population continues to grow, there must be a shift towards sustainable transport system. It is a significant factor in urban sustainability due to its impact on air quality, carbon emissions and overall livability of a city. A sustainable transportation system promotes modes of travel such as public transit, cycling, walking and electrical vehicles that reduce reliance on fossil fuels. This not only lowers the greenhouse gas emissions but also lowers the traffic congestion and improves public health and reduces air pollution. Gothenburg in Sweden exemplifies a city that has taken significant steps towards sustainable transportation. The city's comprehensive public transportation network includes buses, trains, trams and boats, with significant 65% of these modes are powered by renewable energy. Similarly, Amsterdam and Portland are another leader in promoting sustainable transportation system. With over 250 miles of bike paths, Portland has created an environment where cycling is practical and popular mode of transport. In fact, 25% of city workers commute by bike, carpool or public transit, and 8% of population uses only cycling as their main mode of transport. This is the highest rate of bicycle commuters in any American city. Traditional buildings methods often consumes more energy leading to increased carbon footprints and resource depletion. Cement production, a key component in many traditional construction projects, is responsible for a substantial amount of greenhouse gas emissions. Also conventional buildings having low energy efficient design features resulting in high energy consumption for heating, cooling and lightning throughout their lifespan. To address these challenges, use of sustainable materials and development of zero-energy buildings have emerged as a groundbreaking solution. Urbanization often leads to the loss of natural green spaces which contribute to poor air quality and urban heat island effect which raise the temperature of our cities. To combat these issues, cities can integrate more green spaces into their urban planning. Initiatives such as parks, community gardens and rooftop gardens can be adopted to all levels. Vina is a leading example of a city that has prioritized the development and maintenance of green spaces. The city has committed to ensure that every resident has access to high-quality green areas, with 50% of its land dedicated to parks, forests and agricultural lands. Energy usage in the cities is a critical issue for sustainability. Urban areas consume a large proportion of global energy, much of which is derived from run renewable energy resources that contribute to climate change. Transitioning to renewable energy and improving energy efficiency are therefore essential steps for the cities, aiming to reduce their carbon footprint and increase resilience to energy shortages. Copenhagen is at the forefront of this transition with its innovative district heating and cooling systems. The district heating system captures excess heat from electricity production and distributes it throughout the network of the pipes of 90% of the city's households. Another city, Switzerland, is making significant efforts in energy sustainability. This city has set ambitious targets for reducing carbon emissions and increasing the use of renewable energy. Sustainability cannot be met without effective waste management. 
With the increase in human population, the amount of waste production is increasing every day. This high volume of waste leads to frequent overflows, dumping and increased pressure on landfills. Many cities face challenges related to inefficiency of waste collection systems, inadequate sorting facilities and complexity of managing diverse types of waste. So to build a more sustainable future, cities need to adopt a circular economy approach that emphasizes reducing, reusing and recycling materials to minimize the waste and resource consumption. San Francisco is a pioneer in waste management and recycling. This city has set an ambitious goals of achieving zero waste and its comprehensive recycling and composting programs have diverted 1.6 million tons of waste from landfills. San Francisco recycles an impressive 77% of its waste stream and has implemented policies to reduce waste at the source, such as banning single-use plastic bags and promoting compostable packaging. The city's experience highlights the importance of integrating waste reduction and recycling into urban planning and policy making to create more sustainable urban environments. If you really like this video, then please go ahead and subscribe our channel for future interesting videos.